all that craziness, we're gonna play a game! We're gonna see how many people we can fit inside of this hot air balloon! How fun is that? So I recruited all the Disney princesses, and they're totally up for it. So the first person I got is Rapunzel! She's still wearing her wedding bell because she got a quick break during her wedding so she could come on the slide. Then we have Snow White and her cute blue dress. Next we have Belle. Love that pink dress with the flowers. That's really fun. Okay, the next princess is going to be Elsa. Love that blue outfit. Okay, we're going to stick her right there. Next we have Ariel. What a fun scarf. Okay, I think we can fit her right there. Okay, awesome. Alright, and then next we have Cinderella! Alright, we're gonna fit her in the back right there. I think we squeezed everyone in! The next game we're gonna play is called Tornado! And so what I'm gonna do is grab the handle on top of the hot air balloon and swing it around and the last person standing wins the game! So, here we go, I'm going to do a test run first so then the Disney princesses know what they're getting into. And here we go! Whoa! It's like a tornado! Okay, they're doing pretty good. Let's see though if they can do the real thing now. Okay, here we go! Hold on, Disney princesses! It's gonna get a little rough. Oh no! They're falling out! Hold on, hold on! <gasps> Looks like we have a winner! Congratulations, Princess Amber! You are the champion of Tornado! Your prize is going to be a trophy, which we'll get for you later, and some more delicious cake! If you enjoyed this exciting video, please like and subscribe, and tell us in the comments if we should do a rematch for the game of Tornado! Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys! Click on a picture to watch another fun video, or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video! Have a great day! Welcome to Toys Review Toys! Today you get to check out Sophia the First Royal Prep Academy Activity Playset. This playset comes with Sophia the First and Princess Amber, three magnet outfits, two fabric embellishments, one gen stickers, two sticker sheets, and a royal table. Alrighty, let's open this up! This looks really nice, and I'll open up the other side, and wow! This looks so fun! I cannot wait to play with this! Let's take a closer look at everything. We have a very nice front room, the classroom, above that is an awesome dance floor, and then a lovely hallway. And here are some stickers we can use to decorate the inside of the academy. These are the outfits for Sophia the First and Princess Amber. Let's begin decorating the academy. But first, we're going to get out Sophia the First and Princess Amber from out of here. Just like this, they look great. Alright, now we're going to close that back up. That looks great as well. Okay, so many stickers to choose from. I love this. So first I'm going to put this window right here. It looks fantastic. And I'm thinking, yeah, the green chair would look really well with this. So I'm going to place this green chair right here. Now for the dance room. I wonder. I'm thinking about putting a table in there. That sounds like a good idea. So we're going to put this table right there. Oh, let me fix it really fast. Okay. All set to go. Perfect. All right. And we're going to use different colored chairs than last time. So we're going to use red chairs. So here's one. And I think we'll do one more for the other side. All right. Perfect. So we got chairs, table, and I'm thinking we'll need one other thing. Hmm. I am thinking a harp, so then the people who are doing ballet will have some music. Now for the classroom. Look at all these stickers we can choose from. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see here. First, I'm going to put this school logo on the door. And then, what else could we put on there? Of course, we need a teacher, so we'll put a fairy there. We could also put hmm, some books, because, you know, every classroom needs lots and lots of books. So we're going to put books on the teacher's table, on the student's table. Yeah, that looks good. Then, we're going to put some paint, because everybody likes to paint, of course. And then we'll put some more books on the table, and... Of course, some paintbrushes, because you need paintbrushes with paint, unless you're finger painting. And... I think that's it! Oh, and sorry, of course, we got to put some jewels on there, of course. And so we're going to put some jewels on the door, some jewels... Let's see, where else should I put them? I'm thinking, yep, on the desk would be a good idea. And let's see, on top of the bookcase. Great! And for our final room, I'm thinking about putting some flowers in the hallway, because that always makes the hallway smells really good. Okay, so we're going to put two pots of flowers right there next to the door. 
Let's see here. We need a hall monitor, of course. We'll put a fairy there. And let's see here. And why not? Yeah, of course, put a squirrel. Because everybody loves squirrels. Alrighty, let's get started on dress up. We're first going to give Sophia the first and lovely purple bottom with a matching purple top. That looks really nice. And then on one hand, we're going to give her some paint because she told me she wanted to paint today. And then we'll give her some brushes on the other hand. And then for Amber, Princess Amber, we're going to give her her classy green outfit with a matching green top. And then we're going to give her a matching green purse. We're going to go like that. Oh, no. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, man. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, great. And then on the other hand, we're going to give her a book. And once again, that is that. Oh, no. All right, let's try this all over again. All right, we got the purse and the book. Awesome. Don't forget to watch this whole video so you can vote in the comments for your favorite outfit. This is outfit number one for Sophia the First with the pretty purple outfit. This is outfit number two for Princess Amber. She's got a beautiful green dress with a matching green purse and a nice book to go along with it. Okay, let's do another outfit. We're going to quickly undress and get them back in their PJs again just like that. Awesome. So first we're going to do a, another purple outfit for Sophia the First. So there's her purple top and her purple bottom. I really like the combination of these two, especially the bottom of the dress. I like the design of it and the pattern. It looks really, really pretty. Okay, almost fixed and put together. Awesome. So then we're going to give her a nice pink purse to go with it. Great. All right, and for, oh, let me put that back on. All right, now for Princess Amber, we're going to give her a purple bottom with a green top for kicks and giggles. All right, and then we'll give her some flowers to go with her outfit. Alrighty, this is outfit number three for Sophia the First. She's got a beautiful purple dress again with a pink purse to go with it. And here we have outfit number four for Princess Amber with kind of the interesting looking green top with a nice purple bottom and flowers. And for the final round, get ready everyone. This one's going to be crazy. Okay, so we're first going to give Sophia the first a nice green bottom. Alright, looks great. Alright, and then we're going to give her a purple top to go with it. And actually, that doesn't look so bad as I thought it would be. And then we're going to give her a red bird to go with the outfit. And then lastly, a lovely fan if it sticks on. Okay, there we go. And then we have her Amber, Princess Amber. We're going to give her a purple bottom with her always classic green top. And her bird is going to be blue. Alrighty, we've got outfit number five. Sophia the first is wearing a lovely purple top with a pretty green bottom. She has a blue fan and an awesome red bird. And lastly, outfit number six. With Princess Amber, we have a green top, a beautiful blue bird, and a purple bottom. If you enjoyed this awesome video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to vote in the comments which one was your favorite outfit. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toys Review Toys channel, and then click on a picture to watch another fun video, or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video. Have a great day! Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing this Vroom Marvel Spider-Man Carry-On Ride-Along, which also doubles up as a suitcase. And this is the world's first ride-along storage compartment. This is especially useful for parents who travel with little ones. The strap allows the parents to pull the ride-along while their kids ride on top. Or you can attach the other end of the strap to the front of the ride-along and use it as a carry-on. And this ride-along is built for kids' safety in mind. And it's simple to open as well. You just twist the two latches on both sides, and turning the latches allows you to open up the flaps on either side. Now once the flaps have been removed, the suitcase pops right open. And it comes with straps for the inside of the ride-along slash suitcase. This allows you to keep the clothes or whatever you pack in there nice and tight. These straps are also very simple to attach and deattach. With the straps in place, now it's time to load some clothes. Or toys, like Spider-Man, Anna, some Disney Frozen Kids, another Spider-Man, Elsa, don't forget Barbie, and a whole bunch of other toys. And now you can close it without it falling, well, 
This probably works a lot better with clothes. Now just close the flaps back up on either side. And rotate the latches back to the locking position. And you're ready to travel. You can also store the handle of the strap in the recess located on the back. And now it's time to ride. Well, this ride along might not be for every kid. Some kids just may want to play with blinds. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video and click on top to subscribe. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video. Oh, I'm so nervous about my blind date. I've been out with so many weirdos lately. I hope this guy is a good one. Hello, are you Elsa? It's nice to finally make your acquaintance. My goodness, you are just as beautiful as I had imagined. Oh no, this is not going to work out. I thought you were a 1 to 2 scale, not a 1 to 3 scale. What's this? The scale bothers you? People are usually scared of the paint on my face. Oh well, I'm sorry. I just do not think I can go on a date with you, but it was nice to meet you. Have a good day. Wait a minute, don't go. Just because you're a larger scale, that's no problem. Hey, did you just call me large? Uh oh, that was probably the wrong thing to say. Nobody calls me large. Oh boy, she's getting this angry before our date? This is certainly a red flag. That's right, I'm going to attack you with my snow powers. Uh oh, better get to my self defense. <laughs> no! Now nobody gonna call me large. The toy featured in this video is the Inquisitor doll from the Star Wars Rebels new show. This doll is 31 inches tall, so it's more of a collectible doll. This doll has 7 points of articulation, which means he has 7 points that move. His head moves, arms move, legs move, and his wrists move. He looks to be scary and crazy, but so far in the Star Wars Rebel show, he's this proper person that's hunting down the Jedi that just so happens to have a British accent. However, I don't think I'd want this to be sitting in my bedroom staring at me as I sleep. He's sporting those old bulky military pants that you see in movies, along with knee-high boots. This must give those who are part of the dark side extra power. Now in his right hand is his lightsaber handle. This is a dual lightsaber, and it's pretty cool in the show he's able to spin this around. However, the handle on this is not allowed to spin, but it does have both lightsabers. And as you can see here, let me just attach this other one. His arm is able to move up and down and his wrist moves side to side. Although you see me spinning it here, this is not how it spins in the show. It spins around the circle. And just like his right arm, his left arm moves, his legs bend at the hip, and his head moves back and forth. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video, and click on top to subscribe, and then click on a picture to watch another fun video. This is Sandra of the Disney Car Toys channel, and today I'm guest starring on my husband's Toys Review Toys channel to open up 12 super awesome surprise eggs for you. In the background, I have a lot of my Frozen dolls, and also the Barbie Kelly Lost the Secrets Clubhouse. I'm so excited to open up these toys, and most of the toys I can give to the dolls. So this one, it looks like a blind bag, and it is one of the Hot Wheels Mystery Models cars. This is really cool. I love these because it comes with a car and a sticker. So let's see which car we get. Oh, it's nice and yellow. Looks sporty. I like it. It's got a nice little orange plastic top on it and a little stripe. And the sticker looks really cool too. Now, who should we give this to? I see we give it to Kristoff Jr. We'll just set the car right back here, right next to him, and then we can open up some more eggs. I've got 12 eggs in all, so 11 to go. Let's try this little tiny blue egg and <gasps> yay, Shopkins! Shopkins, Shopkins! These are season two Shopkins too. This is Lena Lamp. She's really cute and glittery, and she is a pretty rare one too. A limited edition one. 